Hi there! In this tutorial, I'll show you how to easily create this beautiful animated slides in PowerPoint. And before we start, please make sure you subscribe to the channel and give this video a thumbs up. If you want to get the presentation file, I'll provide a link to it in the description section down below. And now let's head over to PowerPoint. We'll start by creating a new blank presentation. Go up to the file menu and select new presentation. That should open a blank page similar to what I have here. First of all, let's get rid of these two boxes. We won't need them. Next, let's go into the shapes menu and select the rectangle shape. Click anywhere on the slide. This will create a square shape. Now we need to resize it by providing the values. Set width to 19.05 cm and height to 31.42 cm and then drag the rectangle in place like so. If your PowerPoint is set up to use units other than centimeters, just make sure that your rectangle covers the entire height of the slide and is slightly smaller in width. Now let's click on the Format Pane button to open up the Format Pane. Here we'll need to set the Line option to No Line. And in the Fill section, click on the Fill Color button and type in the hex code for the fill color. Next, move on to the Shadow tab and in the Presets drop-down, select the Outer Offset Right option. Now let's set Blur to 42 points and make sure that the rest of your sliders are set to the same values as mine. Once it's done, let's create four more copies of this rectangle by simply pressing Command C and then Command V four times. If you're on Windows, that would be Ctrl C and Ctrl V for you. Now click on the selection pane button to open up the selection pane. And in here, you would want to select all five shapes. Then go to the Align menu and click Align Left and then Align Top Options. This will stack all five rectangles on top of each other. Now let's move on to creating the tabs. Let's go ahead and grab the round same side corner rectangle from the shapes menu and click anywhere on the slide to create a new shape. Now change the width and height values to match mine. I'll set height to 1.46 cm and width to 4.5 cm. Then we need to head over to the Format Shape pane and select No Line. And then select the Fill palette and give it light blue color. Now let's type some text by double-clicking the tab. I'll set font to Poppins Extra Light and size to 14. If you want your text to be centrally aligned, make sure you have the Center Text button activated. Let me also adjust the roundness of the corners a little bit. And with the shape still selected, let's rotate it 90 degrees, like so. Next, we'll want to navigate to the Format pane and in the Shadow tab, click the Presets drop-down. Here we need to select Outer Offset Top option. And now we need to adjust the sliders a little bit. I'll set transparency to 80%, size to 95%. Blur will need to be at 16 points. Also, let's set the angle to 260 degrees and distance will need to be 10 points. Now that we're done with the first step, let's position it so that it touches the upper left corner of the gray rectangle, like so. Then make four more copies by holding down Shift and Option keys. If you're on Windows, that would be the Shift and Alt keys for you. Make sure that you place the last tab right at the bottom. Then select all five tabs and head over to the Align tool and choose Distribute Vertically option. This will evenly place all tabs between the first and the last one. Now let's quickly change the text and give each tab different color. What 
we'll need to do next is to group each tab with the corresponding page. Make sure that each group includes only two elements. Place bottom to top in the selection pane, meaning the group with the first tab should be at the bottom and the group with the last tab at the top of the list. We're done creating all the shapes and now let's work on the position of each slider. First of all, we'll need to mark the starting points of the slide. To do that, I'll hold down the Option key or Alt key if you're on Windows and start dragging the guide. When it snaps to the side, just release it. So now you should have three guides, one in the center and two on the sides. Next, let's mark where we want the slides to stop when they will be sliding out. We'll need to place five guides separated evenly, about 0.4 cm apart. You don't have to be precise here, just make sure that your guides are more or less evenly distributed. Now let's select tabs 2 through 5 and move them to the next stopping point. Then tabs 3 to 5 and so on. Next, let's select all five tabs and move them to the left side of the slide. It's time to fill each tab with content. Simply drag out the first tab, place your content on top of that slide and group the content and the tab by pressing Command G. I'll speed up the video and fill out all my tabs. Now let's just select all groups and move them to the left side of the slide. And let's quickly rename the groups. Our first slide is almost ready. We'll create a nice title for our presentation. Let's grab the text box and start adding some text. That looks good. To make it look even better, let's animate the text. With the middle text selected, I'll head over to the animations panel and choose fly in animation. In the effect options, I'll select the from left option. We want the animation to start on click and last one second. Now let's do the same for the top and the bottom text, only this time let's select flying from the right side and the animation should start with previous. If you want you can add little circles under the text and set animation to zoom. Oh, 
also I'll add 0.2 second delay to each of the circles starting from the second one. That looks perfect. Also we need to make sure that the text and the circles are placed at the very bottom of the selection pane. Now we're ready to create the rest of the slides. All you need to do is to click on the first slide in the left side panel and press Command D to create a copy of that slide. Make sure you're currently on the second slide and now head over to the animation pane and remove all animations here. We want this text to be static. Now grab the first tab and move it to its stopping point marked by the guide. To animate the slide, let's go over to the Transitions panel and select the Morph Transition. So now the tab is sliding from the left side and stops at its stopping point. All that's left now is to do the same for the other four tabs. Here's the final result. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more PowerPoint tutorials. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!